in a few months time I'm going to be starting an epic running adventure where I'm going to be running more than 1500 kilometers to run the entire length of the UK from Land's End in the bottom of England right to the top of John O'Groats in Scotland and I'm going to be doing a lot of the Wales coastline over the mountains in central England and all the way up to Scotland and you're going to be able to follow that journey right here on my YouTube channel. Today is the first episode in a series I'm going to be making about the preparation and the execution of that epic running adventure. So let's get into it. Okay, here we are and I'm going to be talking about my upcoming amazing adventure to run the entire length of the UK. Now, I'm doing this for a whole host of reasons, so I'm going to share some of those things now in this first video. And I want to thank you for your support already. So if you're watching this video and you're in the UK, give us a thumbs up and uh, let me know whereabouts you are in the UK. Who knows, I might be coming running past your door on my big adventure. Now, first of all, my wife and I are gonna be leaving Mexico around the end of April. We're gonna be starting the run uh, from Land's End in England, uh, which is at the bottom of England, in the last week of April. And we're gonna be heading north along the English coastline, uh, all the way up into Wales, where we'll get to Cardiff. And then we'll follow the coastal path around Wales to Liverpool before heading north up through Scotland and to John O'Groats. So that's the rough uh, route that I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be sharing with you a very detailed route and map in future videos of this series. This is the first video in the series. And I'm going to be documenting my journey of why I'm doing this run, what I hope to achieve from it and also some of the other peripheral activities. So let's talk about some of those now. Now, first of all, my overall goal with running is to become a world champion. Yes, back in July of 2022, I became a professional athlete at the age of 57, and I wanna become a world champion at the ultra trail event at the UTMB race in Chamonix in France within three years. So I've set myself a goal of that's the long-term goal, and I've given myself three years to achieve that goal. Now, leading up to that goal, I wanna create a whole series of interesting challenges that both motivate me and inspire me to get fitter, get healthier, and also become good enough to be able to achieve that long-term goal. Now, I thought, okay, I could go out there and I could run a lot of marathons and half marathons and do lots of cross-country races and trail races, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and I wanted to do something where my wife and I could also have life-changing experiences. So we decided in 2023, we're gonna start off by doing two epic running challenges. Now I've decided to do this run because one, I love the UK. I spent 15 years uh, living and working in Brussels and Belgium. And during that time, I spent a lot of time in the UK. I love the country. I love the contrast of the country. The countryside is absolutely beautiful. And uh, I love the people. I love the Welsh people, the Scottish people, and the English people. I think they're amazing. And I can't wait to go back and explore the country like I never have before. This is gonna be an incredible opportunity to run through England, Wales, and Scotland together. I'm also looking forward to running on all the different types of terrain. So there's going to be an opportunity to run a lot of coastal trails. There's going to be an opportunity to run on country lanes and roadways and there's going to be a lot of opportunity to run on mountainous terrain as well as we head up into the highlands. So I'm really looking forward to that, the diversity of the run so it's not going to be boring all the time just like running along the roads all the time. And also the weather contrast. Now I'm living here in Cancun in Mexico. We're experiencing a heat wave during winter at the moment. It's about 30 Celsius every day. It's incredible with high humidity around 85 to 89%. And it's been very difficult to run. I've just come back from having COVID after 22 days. 
And in the last 10 days, I've just reconnected with my training program and got back into running again. And it's been pretty, pretty difficult. So going from this type of climate over to the UK is going to be really, really good because I'm going to enjoy running in the cooler and obviously damp weather conditions as well. Although coming into spring, hopefully we'll get some nice days. But I'm prepared for all of that. I'm a New Zealander, lived in different parts of the world, and uh, I know what the weather can throw at us in the UK. I'm also really interested to know how the carnivore diet that I'm just about to start is going to impact my overall performance and preparation for this particular run. A um, lot of information I've been researching talks about how ultra runners are really benefiting from going on the carnivore diet. And I'm going to be documenting that journey here on my YouTube channel. So if you're joining me for this video and you may not be a runner, um, you might be more interested in what I'm doing with the carnivore diet, then stick around. I'm going to be sharing lots of information about those in these regular episodes on my UK run so uh, be sure to check back and while you do that you can hit the little subscribe button the bell notification you'll be notified then every time I drop a video so another thing that I'm doing as part of this run is I want to raise awareness around mental health in global sport now I know a lot of athletes that are suffering across the world and more importantly I know a lot of families that are suffering across the world and I want to do whatever I can in the capacity of creating awareness through being an ambassador for mental health in sport and I think this is a really important topic that we need to talk about more but we also need to find solutions to help athletes around the world. So if you're watching this video today and you might be associated with a mental health organization in the UK, either England, Wales or Scotland, please reach out to me if you want to talk about a partnership or creating awareness around your cause because of my run in the UK. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about that. I want to do whatever I can to create more awareness around mental health. Now, if you're someone who's been suffering from mental health or are suffering from mental health and you live in the UK and you might be a runner, then why not come and join me on some parts of the run? We can do a little bit of a run together. And that would also be a great thing. So if you're interested in any of that, just drop me a note in the comments. I'll make sure I get back to you. I read all my comments on my channel and we can organize something as part of my run. So there we go. I want to be an ambassador around mental health in global sport. And I want to use this particular um, adventure of running through the UK as a way of promoting more activity within mental health within sport so it's a really exciting run my job at the moment is to get really fit and really healthy and get prepared my wife's helping me out with a lot of the logistics issues that we've got to deal with one of the things that we are looking into at the moment is getting a motorhome partnership put together so that we can have a motorhome for my wife to drive and we can have a support vehicle that's going to be making sure that we get good sleep every night and we've got safety um, procedure in place as well. I am going to be running every day, so this is going to be a challenge where I'm not going to be off on holiday for a week, and then I'm coming back to the running part. No, I am going to be running every day. I don't know how many miles I'm going to run every day or kilometers at this stage. We're going to leave that up to how I feel, what the terrain's like, what the weather's doing, and we'll make those calls on the day. So. I'm not one of these people that's setting out wanting to do this run in a specific time. I see this as a once in a lifetime running adventure opportunity. We want to enjoy it together, my wife and I, and we want to see England, Wales and Scotland like we've never seen those places before. And this is going to be an amazing way of doing it. You're going to be able to follow the whole journey here on my YouTube channel. This is the first episode in a series that I'm going to be making on a regular basis to update you on how everything's going with my training, the equipment that I'm going to be using, how the carnivore diet's going, how I'm feeling overall. And as we wind down pretty quickly now in the next four months to heading to the UK, you can keep abreast of all the information to do with this adventure. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask me, drop a note in the comments. I'll make sure I get back to you. Maybe you're in the UK and you've got some advice or information that you want to send to me. As I said, we're putting the final pieces of the route together at the moment. And once I've got that confirmed in one of the future videos, I'll put it online so everybody can see exactly where we're going to be going to. And thanks very much for supporting my channel. Um, professional athletes at the age of 57, they don't have a lot of followers. 
I'm trying to build a community here where we can support each other, whether you be on the carnivore diet, whether you're a runner, you might be a beginner that's just starting off running, you might be someone that has an ambition to run a marathon, a 10K or a 5K, then jump on board. We can all do this together. It doesn't matter that I'm doing endurance sports or I want to be an ultra distance athlete. Runners are runners and we've got to stick together. That's my belief. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again on this channel really soon. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and go for a run. See you soon.